Marking your catalytic converter doesn't guarantee it'll stop a thief, but it might make them think twice. We're hoping that the suspect sees the etching and will then move on. Marking your converter might also help police trace it back to you if it gets stolen. That could save you serious money. Replacing one can cost thousands. So let's do it. First, what do you put on a catalytic converter to say it's yours? Detectives recommend your VIN or vehicle identification number. You'll find it here under your windshield or here in the frame of your front driver's side door. Next, how do you put your VIN on a piece of metal so it stays there? You have a few options. Online, we found some companies selling customized heat resistant labels. They print it, you attach it. This part is clever. If the thieves try to peel off the sticker, the VIN stays behind in little dots, kind of like those tamper-proof price tags some department stores use. You can etch your VIN, and that's what we tried to do with this $25 engraver we got at a hardware store, which included this nifty little stencil. A couple notes about safety, we've taken precautions. We've read the directions that came with the etcher. We're doing this on the car while it's cool because that exhaust area can get hot. We've set the emergency brake and I'm going to wear these stylish but functional safety glasses. We did a practice run and it worked out pretty well. We quickly realized this is probably a two person job. So my colleague Alyssa is going to read the VIN to me while I crawl under and scratch it into the converter using the stencil. Okay, this takes a little bit of maneuvering. <laughs> That's glamorous. Okay, we've got five. T as in Tom. I'm finding it's difficult to actually print the letters on with little clearance. After try four or five, we're going to call it here because that went how well? Not super great. I don't think I would recommend that for most people at home, especially if you've got a vehicle like this that has such low clearance. The good news is there are auto shops and there are dealers around town that say they will do this for you. Alyssa called some of them and their price was? A couple places said they do it for free. That's how to do it.